treating diabetes does not just mean managing your blood sugar. You need to manage your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your body weight. Only then can you keep your organs like the eyes, the heart, the liver, the kidney, and even the bones well protected. I am Dr. Amrish Mittal. I am the chairman and head of endocrinology and diabetes across the Max Healthcare system, stationed at Max Saket. And today I'll be answering some frequently asked questions about a most common condition, type 2 diabetes. Hi doctor, I'm Ashish from Jaipur. I want to know what is diabetes and how do you treat type 2 diabetes? So by definition, diabetes means an elevated blood glucose. So if your fasting blood glucose is over 126 milligrams per DL and your post glucose 2 hours is above 200, you will be labeled as a diabetic. There is a type 1 diabetes and there is a type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes consists of insulin resistance along with insulin deficiency. It is treated by lifestyle measures, improving your diet, increasing your exercise. It is treated by oral medication. It is also treated by some injectable medications which can also help you lose some weight. And then of course, some varieties of type 2 diabetes or at some stage of type 2 diabetes, you may require insulin. Doctor, I am Ritesh from Faridabad. Can type 2 diabetes go away? Well, some varieties of type 2 diabetes in the initial stages, particularly in young people, can actually go away. It can go away if you really work hard on your lifestyle and lose weight, come down to ideal body weight, it is a possibility that within the first few years of developing diabetes, you can actually get rid of it. For the most part of it, however, it is thought that you will require medication in some form or the other throughout. So if your blood sugar has become normal on medication, it does not mean that you are not a diabetic. You are a diabetic who is well controlled on medication. If you are well controlled, regardless of with or without medicine, you will not face any complications or consequences of diabetes. Hi doctor, I'm Shekhar from Delhi. My question is, do I need to take insulin if I am diagnosed with type 2 diabetes? Even in type 2 diabetes, insulin can be required. It's specially required if there's an acute sickness, you know, illness requiring hospitalization. If there's a surgery, if a woman with type 2 diabetes becomes pregnant, also, as type 2 diabetes progresses down the years, the pancreatic function keeps going down. So at some stage, despite all effort, it is possible you may require insulin. Not only that, there are some kinds of people with type 2 diabetes who have a greater insulin deficiency, even from the beginning, and they may require insulin early in the course of disease. So while much of type 2 diabetes can be managed with lifestyle and, and uh, oral medication. Definitely, a significant proportion of people with type 2 diabetes will also require insulin at some point in the course of their disease. Hi doctor, I am Rishi from Nainital. If I am on insulin to control type 2 diabetes, do I have to take it lifelong? That's a very frequently asked question, Rishi. Uh, everyone's worried that if they take insulin, they're going to be on it forever. That's not necessarily true. If you take diabetes for an intercurrent illness, like a serious infection or surgery or, or, or in a lady pregnancy, it's not necessary that you continue with insulin. However, if insulin has been started because medication has stopped working, then it's very likely that you will require insulin forever. So, it's not a correct statement that if I take insulin once, I will require it forever. Insulin is not addictive, okay? It's the disease that will decide whether you require it forever or not, but not the drug. So insulin is a natural body substance. Do not be scared of it. If advised, do not stay away from it simply because you are worried that you may be on it forever. Hi doctor, I'm Amir from Kanpur. Can exercising regularly help me control diabetes? When we say type 2 diabetes is predominantly a lifestyle disease, we don't just mean diet. Exercise is a key component of our lifestyle. And definitely if you exercise regularly, say 45 minutes every day, you will 
help your diabetes, you will help your heart, you will help your blood pressure, you will help your general health. You will bring your blood sugar down simply by exercise sometimes. We say that you can walk away your diabetes. If you walk enough, you can probably reduce your diabetes very significantly. So the importance of exercise and physical activity in preventing and controlling diabetes cannot be overemphasized. Go ahead and exercise and stay away from diabetes. Hi doctor, I'm Alok, I'm from Mumbai. Are my children at risk if I have type 2 diabetes? So type 2 diabetes happens because of a combination of two factors. One is our genes, like your children would be at greater risk than someone who doesn't have parents with diabetes. But at the same time, it is influenced a lot by the environment and lifestyle. So it is not just your genes. So if your children are careful, then, and they maintain ideal body weight, they exercise regularly, they can delay their diabetes or maybe even stay away from it. If they are not, however, careful and they put on weight at an early age, they will definitely develop diabetes. If you take figures, the traditional figures for, for type 2 diabetes risk is that if one parent has it, the risk is between 30 to 50 percent. If both parents have it, the risk is 70 percent. But our data now shows that this risk is actually higher. And even if one parent has it, there is a very, very strong likelihood of, of your getting diabetes unless you're really, really good with your lifestyle. Sir, I'm Vinod from Kerala. My question is, can type 2 diabetes be prevented? I think you're asking the most important question. Yes, much of type 2 diabetes can be prevented if we focus on just one aspect. We focus on our body weight. If we maintain our body weight in the ideal zone, and that too with correct proportions, sometimes we may have an ideal body weight, but it may all be around our tummies. Not that, but if you are able to maintain an ideal body weight and ideal body fat, then our risk of developing diabetes is greatly reduced. Diabetes prevention studies across the world, including India, have shown that if you are careful with your diet and lifestyle, even in the pre-diabetic stage, if you are able to lose some weight, maintain regular physical activity, you can prevent diabetes or at least delay it for several years. My advice to you, based on more than four decades of experience in managing diabetes, do not wait for symptoms. Symptoms appear very late in diabetes. If you are crossing 25, if you, especially if you have a family history, make sure you check your blood sugar. Many people feel that because they have no symptoms, they can't be having any uh, diabetes, but that's not correct. Symptoms are very misleading and by the time symptoms develop, you're actually far advanced in the course of diabetes. So testing for diabetes, if you're overweight, if you have a family history, is very, very important to, so that it can be diagnosed early and you can initiate measures to treat it early. Meanwhile, make sure you maintain your body weight, don't put on weight. Typically, I see youngsters these days just putting on weight, you know, in their 20s and 30s not a great idea. You're increasing your risk of developing diabetes. I hope you found the discussion useful. If you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and we'll be sure to answer them for you. Goodbye for now.